2022, when I first heard about this guy, I was watching a Twitch streamer's livestream, who watched a video from a YouTuber named Damien Luck925, who also calls himself Foka. And that dude used to be kind of cool when I first watched that one video. But that is until the year of our Lord 2024, where I now have to find out that uh, Fulcrum really sucks. He's no longer cool anymore for this reason. And that reason is the tweet he made on September 11th of this year. George Lloyd death was fake and staged. And this really has disappointed a few people who used to be, like, supporters of his. Just like Zach Biro, who says, why did Volcrum even get into politics? You're just going to start alienating your own basis. And then Volcrum says that he don't really care, been like this since day one. How is me observing, observing reality politics? Well, it's not that you're getting into it politics or observing reality. It's the fact that you're spreading a already debunked conspiracy theory. Because the reality of it all is that there was nothing staged according to the President of Officers Federation of Minneapolis. Which is why that viral 10 minute video of Floyd's arrest that sparked an outcry of George Floyd not grieving because it's Derek Chauvin who kneeled on Floyd's neck was recorded by a 17 year old female who was walking by the arrest because she actually noticed that George Floyd wasn't grieving because of the police officers in action to do his job correctly. That's what it was. Bro is off the fucking rails now. How? I never went writing. The problem with comments like full crumbs is that they tend to ignore the actual peaceful protests that went on that day. People like full crumb will always try to cherry pick that there was most likely riots and not a peaceful protest. And while there there may have been some riots. That doesn't mean that the riots haven't for the majority of the day. But again, people like Fulcrum like to cherry pick because that's the only thing they see. Fulcrum's always been such an unfunny, knuckle-dragging loser. Yeah, I agree. This got more likes than Fod Fulcrum attempts at music and he got 100k. Don't ever speak on Fox again. Your brain is rotting off the GG. I think that Twitter us user is talking about the Galaxy Gas, which I'll get to why Fulcrum is taking that in the later minutes of this video. But this is not the first time he has been making these uncool takes. This is from March 12th of this year. He says there are only two genders. I refuse to stay silent when it's our children getting infected by these narratives. If I'm white, I can never be black in this life. Two plus two equals four. It's time to wake up. Then he says, I always had these opinions. At zero subscribers, when I was on Aiden's stream, same full calm. Y'all just never really listened to my message. Y'all lost me back then, and I literally thought the same shit. Not really. You didn't go on YouTube and post videos of you belittling trans people or give, giving your stance on gender theory. You really sat there and got high, said good vibes, and directed two towards everyone. If I was, if I found out my favorite streamer was a racist slash rapist, etc., I'm still going to like them? No. I don't know where you get the idea that people like you for your opinions on gender theory. On of your videos, did you ever preach negativity towards a group of people like you're trying to do now? Yep, that's true. 
only on Twitter you would ever say things like this. And another Twitter user who is a commentary YouTuber known as Optimus said this. People can have these opinions, but I think it's insanely fucking lame to suddenly espouse these beliefs and then when criticized for it, you retort, my friend, my fans never really listened to my message. You never said shit like this on camera. Quit blaming your audience for that, LMAO. Yeah, because Twitter, as one would say, is like a public square. Where you can spew your negativity about trans people, black people, Hispanic people, or even spread your message about the COVID-19 pandemic, claiming that you proved that shit wasn't going on, but you were wrong. And as far as I know, over 380 people have died from the coronavirus. 110,000 followers and only 153 likes in 12 hours. Bro is washed. Fulcrum stick to talking about Benjamins instead of hating trans people and being insane challenge impossible edition. Yeah, he should stick to that. He's better at that than whatever he's doing now. On Twitter at least. Pisspant said, Funny coming from a dude giving himself NFL levels of CT huffing cast targeted at TikTok hit. I'll get to his alternative milk conspiracy theory a little later on. But he says that the government loves showing agendas down your throat and then seeing how you react and respond to it online. First off, having an agenda isn't a bad thing. And second, they don't shove an agenda down our throats. They just tell it how it is. You just don't like the way they do it. They always ten steps ahead of y'all, cause y'all eat up anything. I mean, y'all believed a fake ass virus. Y'all believe Hollywood productions to convince y'all to riot. Time to wake the fuck up. Second of all, there's nothing wrong with our government being ten steps ahead of, of the American people because they want to prepare to inform us of what's going on in our country. If you don't be informed, that's on you. And once again, the coronavirus is not a fake virus. That virus really did kill over 380,000 people. Something that you will never ever understand, Fulcrum. While to say this shit, when thousands, hundreds of thousands of people lost families and friends to COVID, what reality do you live in where you watch a man get a knee put on his neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds and think, yeah, this shit is fake for sure. Either you hit the gas one too many times or you're just a retard. And I know you got high tolerance, so I'm going with the latter. I mean, as someone who likes weed, people with high tolerance can get kind of like this. Abuse of weed definitely changes how you perceive reality and some people can still be, say, productive members of society. Some can be a little wonky. I truly think that Fulcrum might be wonky and retarded at the same time. Because he barely knows shit a lot around our world. Washed brother. Just go full right wing because this half and half shit to keep your fan bases lame ASL. I'm not being political bruh. Y'all some two dimensional bots. I never voted and I never will. Okay, cool, but nobody was going to ask your uneducated brain to vote for Kamala Harris anyway. Clearly, you don't understand the word politics, which is not surprising to someone like Fulcrum. Your videos were always funny, but everyone always knew you were um, as a bag of rocks. What a burn. Fulcrum just got burned. Calling other people two-dimensional when you don't have the balls or knowledge to vote is Max Cope. And again, it is not that Fulcrum is political, but it's the fact that he spread an already debunked conspiracy theory. That's what it is. Meanwhile, did I already mention that Damien Luck 925 aka Fulcrum has been making homophobic statements or transphobic statements?
Well, in case I haven't, here's one of those tweets from Fulcrum himself. But yeah, Fulcrum has been on a downhill spiral lately, and it's just sad to see that he is making takes like this. Even one of, their, one of his supporters had to tell him to let it go. He claims that what he says is not incorrect, but what he actuality doesn't understand that gender is a social construct. And it's a socially constructed construct that refers to the roles, behaviors, and identities of people. It's different from sex, which is a set of biological attributes, meaning that gender is not a biological attribute. Now that's not even a point. I think you've got them to understand. It's also a simple concept too, but you set your piece. Let's just move on, Broski. See, he's being reasonable with you again, so why not listen and just stop tweeting? I'm always gonna speak the truth even if people don't agree with it. If y'all don't fuck with it, y'all don't have to follow me. Shit, mute button is my favorite button on this app. Bro, I'm green the field, not even Haiti. But this will just bring more hate towards you. You don't want to drag people away from the message that you are displaying. This just drives people farther away from the message you are trying to get across. You get me? The delusion people can hate, it's really nothing. They never heard my message since day one, and they never were Yodi fan. I'm speaking for the Yodi fan. No full crumb, you're not speaking for the Yodi fan. These are your beliefs. You are speaking for yourself. The Yodi fan does not support your beliefs. Then he goes to tweet this bullshit on this tweet, which says you are not qualified to homeschool your kids. To which he said, what makes a teacher qualified? How much money they spent for tuition in college? Fulcom, you're retarded. They're qualified because they acquired skills in completing their degree, received pedagogical training through an MA, and were monitored by experienced teachers while student teaching. You're barely qualified to smoke on camera. Sit this one out. Nah, being a teacher just means you're 50k in debt from school, spent weekend playing beer pong, and getting face fucked. Now you're just making an inappropriate false accusation here. Teachers don't be doing beer pong or getting face fucked. They teach their students. Educate. Frank and Bill says, and you did those same things, except you didn't learn anything at the same time. Sounds like you have a skill problem. No, I didn't go into debt to go to adult daycare to drink alcohol. Damn, I used to think you had a good mentality towards life, but now you're just sitting on experiences you didn't have and people you don't understand. You're lucky you make money getting high and embarrassing yourself on the internet. Clearly, it's the only career that suits you. Yeah, I agree, Fulcrum. Your content is cringe nowadays. You be yelling at a fast food restaurant in public to get people's attention around you. Like, I don't know why you do that. Unfollow me then. I never went to college, yet I'm still cleaning up my local community six plus times and got Yodi game together to raise gifts for infant kids. I don't know anyone from my school who went to college who doing what I do. Look, there's nothing wrong about you doing something good for your community. But when you go out of your way to insult teachers who have 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years, 30 years, 35 years, 40 years, 45 years of experience, then that makes you a low life, uneducated man who doesn't understand how hard teachers work for the students they teach. College is adult daycare. No, it is not. 
Ivan underscore actually says, should I drop out? Volkram respond, nah, if it serves you a purpose, keep it pushing. If you're doing nothing, wasting time, just trying to stall time, maybe it's not worth it. I don't know what situation y'all be in, only you would know. Aha! Uh -huh. You backpedal so hard once you realize your stupid fans would actually drop out if you said to. It can be useful, doesn't change the fact most of y'all just go to college to stall time same way a daycare would watch over a child. The difference between daycare and college is at the end of the day, they give you a degree. An info crown response, which most people end up not getting because they signed up for a random major. Or they end up getting it and working at Starbucks. Obviously, college is needed if that's what you gotta do to enter the career you want. However, most of the time, from my observations, people just use college to stall time, get drunk, and spread STDs. Look, if you are academically smart, then you should pursue to go to college. If you are not academically smart, then you shouldn't go to college. The final thoughts that I want you to take from me is that if you watch Fulcrum and if you're thinking about dropping out because he dropped out of college, don't. Because if you did knew in your heart that you weren't academically smart to go to college in the first place, then you should not be going to college. Just only graduate from high school and just get a job that allows you to work with a high school diploma. But if you already gone to college and you are thinking about dropping out anyway, just to be like the next fulcrum, then I feel very sorry for you because you're gonna end up dumb as hell, broke, and not know what to do. So please, never ever take any advice from a college dropout that are telling you to drop out. Or better yet, don't take any advice from a college dropout telling you that college is an adult daycare. Nor should you take Fulcrum's word from it telling you that George Floyd's death was faked and staged. Read the facts online from a trusted source. Do not go to a random Twitter user's account to read on the facts that they think they know on the thing that they haven't learned from. And don't believe every word that Fulcrum says. He is not as smart as you think. Just because you think he's intelligent enough to read up some philosophy that he learned doesn't mean that he's totally smart. Bottom line, he is a loser and he's no longer cool anymore.